How do we have a theme for a coffee machine that goes? First of all, Mr. Shuram, there needs to be no more explanation. Second of all, there was an event called Sage 2024, and for that event, the Shoot team, aka the Shuram team, wanted to do a small demo of one world and one boss fight. And so, because we were running out of time, I was like, okay, I gotta compose a song for this. It's gonna be very difficult for the other musicians to focus on their own songs and also the boss theme. So I said, okay, I think I can do boss themes. I'm gonna take up that task. And as you've been hearing so far, that's the thing that I ended up doing. So how is my process for making a boss theme for something so kind of ridiculous? Well, it wasn't easy. It was not easy at all, because I was so stuck with something that sounded along the lines of this. Which, like, it's not terrible. It's a little bit too much for the first boss. And so then I tried to go for a more jazzy approach. So what I did is first try to think, this is a coffee machine. What do I associate with coffee? I myself don't like coffee. I just kind of looked online for things that people kind of do when they drink coffee and something that popped up was jazz so I just kind of got the distortion guitar and I switched around to both basses and I, and I added some drums and this is what I came up with which is fine but uh, the dev told me that they wanted a slightly slower song so I then did a little bit of m more reworking, so I tried with a new baseline at 117 ppm that went... That, that's not the correct thing, that went... And that it was going to have a snare, uh, it still sounded like it was missing soul, I guess. And so then I sketched out this slap bass, which is in the final song. And I thought, that's neat i think and somehow i ended up with it with this entire song afterwards i have no idea what happened in between but let's see at some of the decisions that i took for this song to end up being what it is first of all we have this beginning pattern here there's many layers to this so for example one of the layers that i added is a brew machine Br brew a brewing a brewing machine with, with a few cuts to make it a bit more rhythmic. There's also all of this, these sounds here, which is a sample that plays for the rest of the song, that I grabbed from some random funk music because Shurem likes to sample things like most modern musicians do. I could have probably been a little bit more aggressive with my sampling, a little bit more funny, even though I think, even though I think the coffee brewing in the background already is kind of funny and so that's a small thing that is part of the beginning pattern the pattern itself consists of a distortion guitar basses these small beeps that you could hear and drums of course and all together it sounds like this and something i like is that the distortion guitar goes up an octave so that brings a little bit of movement without it it sounds like and with it it sounds like and then we have the main body of the song. For this main body we have very simple drums. Which are in a very swingy rhythm, which again goes for this jazz theme that I wanted to go for. Then we have this, these clips, so like it's a guitar going... On hindsight it sounds like a wasteland song, more than coffee I guess, or jazz, but I think it sounds good so I kept it in. Then we have a sound that sounds even more like clips. And and we have a bass. So all of these instruments fill different roles. When you put them all together it sounds like this. It sounds fine. But I was like, the introduction I think needs a little bit more possess, which is why I added the samples. And then it felt like every single thing that needed to be in the intro was fulfilled. We have a bass for those lower frequencies, we have the drums for the rhythm, the clips for assisting that rhythm. 
and then we have as a pseudo lead the sampling. Because it's the first song that the player hears where they're focusing on a big thing, that being the coffee tronic, I felt that it was best if I stayed mostly on the same key throughout the whole song, which is A sharp minor, I think. So you can hear that in the first beat we have A sharp minor, and in the second beat we have A sharp minor, and then we have not A minor, but then this A sharp minor thing kind of changes when the beeps come in. And so when the beeps come in, they are like suggesting that the fight is going on. And so what I thought is, we can switch to something more varied, because otherwise the song is a bit too samey. And so what I have is it jumping from A sharp to G to G sharp to C to D sharp to C sharp and A sharp at the end and then G sharp. And then A sharp and then C sharp and then D. And, so, and of course we also have the voice samples getting a little bit of switch up. And then the second section goes more like... And then at the end, of course, it goes back to what was expected before. And did you hear that riser? That is just the coffee brewing. <laughs> I thought that was extremely funny. If you don't find that funny, then that's fine by me. And so we have then this new A section, which is basically the same, but... We have a guitar, so... It still is the same thing of, I need to be very focused, I need to have the song in the same part so that it feels very focused. But of course, even though the song had to go to a previous section for the sake of familiarity and such, I wanted to add a little bit of more of a spin and that's, and that's the reason why I added the guitar. Otherwise, this section is pretty much the same, but there's an added guitar, which it sounds pretty good. I think I came up with a good idea and something that was definitely missing from the first version is that from the first few versions the the song sounded like this and as you can hear it sounds a bit empty like it sounds like there's definitely something missing even though there is a new guitar and that's because the guitar I was using was the guitar from Mega Man X. Well, I'm not saying it's a bad sound, I'm saying that there was definitely something else that I could add on. And then, in the middle of making the song and being distracted, I found a video called Stop Using FL Slayer, which showed a for Sandal library with a very cool guitar, and so that's what I ended up adding in the final song. On its own, it sounds like someone's getting a haircut, but of course, this is music. Instruments don't have to be alone. And so what I did is I layered both guitar samples together. And now it sounds pretty cool, in my opinion. So then we have this section over here, which is just a section as before with the beeps. And then we have this lead into a transition section, where I'm actually gonna use leads, but that's for later. In the transition section, I add this orchestra hit, which is based on one of the songs in actual shooter. Because leitmotif. And so once again, I use the coffee as a riser. And then I make it lead into the transition section, which sounds like this. If it sounds chaotic, it's because it is. This lab bass it's like very chaotic and it's doing most of the work towards keeping this section very dynamic. For some reason I like to go very wild with my basses. It's not a new thing. I also did the same thing for a menu theme in another game. Which could be in its entire video. Uh, let me know if you want to see another one like this. We also have the guitars and an extra bass doing like a a cool riff thing. And something very interesting is that the actual riff is supposed to sound more like dun 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 dun. But an accident happened and, and I accidentally shifted the notes to the left and so I ended up with and that sounded much cooler so I just kept it in. <laughs> And as you can see, the samples are gone because we're going into a new section. So I wanted to also make that differentiated. And hey, look at that! It's every composer's best friend. 
the funny I add also I added a little bit of pitch so that it's a bit unique. And then for the end of the transition section we have the Ammon break and the guitar going doing and the guitar doing a very cool which then leads into this. Ooh, what is that? Hey look, that sounds like one of the characters on Shurem Kickstarter. Insert joke here. So if you spotted the plug references so far, then that's pretty cool if you've done it in your own. There's also an additional one here. So the best way to show this is by by having an, an oscillator here and freezing it. You can see that there's this waveform, right? Well, this waveform is from the plucks, from the actual pluck sound bank, the distortion guitar, the very well known. And so what I did then to mask this effect a little bit is I added a little bit of an amp. And so then what we have is... The waveform obviously looks very different, but it still kind of gives this, this feeling of the block. Oh my god, is that block? And to make the guitar a bit more unique, then what the fuck? I added like this pitch control to make the guitar like rise because otherwise it's just and then I have like very small controls here to make the guitar sound a bit more unique some vibrato some vibrato some riser some downer some top bottom whatever the heck this face clan logo is doing here and so then after the transition which is introduced by the plug guitar I honestly like this part right here the most where it goes like it goes one semitone at a time and I thought that was very funny because haha composer does funny thing because they like and so something to make it sound a bit more shorem is I added this second lead that goes on top of the guitar on the repeated A section again to even though this is very focused and very samey to some extent it still progresses because that's kind of how a boss fight is. Parents do repeat, but they still progress because they, you deal damage to the boss. And something funny that I also added here in this part is a light motif, which is used in the Milky Way City song. And then for the last transition back into the first section, we have the samples returning last time they weren't there we have the same thing before in, in the transition before but hey look at that isn't that the fuck <laughs> and then i did a little bit of cutting and something that i did to make this section also a little bit more unique is i made it so the ammon break is actually functioning as the snare and hi-hats for this section so in the section before you could hear Whereas in this section, you hear... So even though it's leading back into the beginning, it feels a bit more different than the transition we had before. And so all together, it sounds like this. And lastly, of course, the coffee has stopped brewing. Don't forget to support shooting with the link down below. There's some very cool stuff coming. Will Rako make this? Will Rako make this video? And and remember, if you wanna shoot him, don't actually shoot him. Just just play Mr. Shuren breaks out. That's way better.